Happy birthday to Virgos. Happy birthday to you. You guys, it is Virgo season. Welcome back to my channel and today is my birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So happy birthday, especially starting today, August 23rd. We're going to take a look at the uh, your birthday month, Virgo, to see what's going on with you. What do you have going on? What's going on for you, Virgo? Hope you're all doing well. Please hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you are new. And welcome back, everyone. Hello, everyone in the chat. Please be mindful the messages are general. So they may or may not resonate. We're going to take a look at this time period, August 23rd through September 23rd, uh, 24th, to see what your what's going on for your birthday, Virgo. What's going on for you? Um, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just go to my website, moonpytero.com, and you can start booking your readings for September. Okay, you've got sunglasses. Someone's watching, looking, stalking, focusing outward. Okay, now that could be another person. That could be you. You might be looking, um, hiding behind your sunglasses, playing it cool, looking to see what's, you know, out in front of you, being a little, hmm, some of you might be a little, um, not giving away the details. That's what I feel like, kind of hiding behind those glasses, playing cool, being Joe cool. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you've got somebody here definitely who's just spying on you, watching, they're stalking you. Behind the scenes, they're not letting you know. Okay, so that's all for the month. Uh, August through September. Okay, what else is going on? <laughs> Some of you are going to buy a brand new pair, pair of uh, sunglasses. Maybe you just bought a pair of sunglasses and you're looking pretty good in them. Okay, let's see. What else does Virgo need to know? Talking. Okay. Someone's interested in you. Wow. There's going to be some conversation happening during your birthday month. Okay. Maybe you're talking to somebody right now. Maybe you meet somebody. Um, or you're talking to someone who wears sunglasses all the time. Okay, this could be a lover, could be a friend, but there's an awaited message that's arriving. There's a text, call mail, call, call mail, text, call, email, voicemail. There's a little bit of hovering going on here. So somebody's, like I said, somebody's watching and waiting for an opportunity to talk to you. Um, they're going to respond. They're interested. They want to talk more. So look at how she's kind of like... Looks like she's looking at her laptop. Ooh. Okay. Now, some of you will say you're spying on someone to see if um, it's either you or another person spying to see if somebody's talking to another person or if two people are still talking. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Oh, you got twin flames again. Okay. <laughs> Virgo, another twin flame reading. Here we go. Complimenting each other. Okay, two people maybe watching each other, keeping tabs, keeping an eye on each other, looking to see if one person is talking to another person or if they're still talking to somebody. Okay, um, but then there's also like communication comes in. Now, so if you're if you're looking to see if somebody's talking to another person, like some of you, that's like a small percentage of you. The overall message is that your twin flame is going to be reaching out to you during your birthday month. All right, let's see what's going on with you you've got the eight of cups here okay so you're like there's a temporary separation or you're just thinking of your dreams and your plans and all the things you want to do going forward you know you're looking for that ninth cup which would be like that one more big giant cup contentment happiness and joy and this is like your yeah i feel like for you you know what you want. You've kind of like put all your ducks in a row here. It looks like you, oops, sorry. It looks like you're on a good path in your life and, you know, you're pretty sure of what you want, but you're kind of like on a journey at this time and it feels like that Eight of Cups is kind of like temporary separation. Um, you're not heavily investing in any people, places, or things, really. You're just truly asking yourself what it is you want, and you're investing in yourself at this time, which is good, okay? So, you know, you're standing out on the, you know, looking out at the horizon, looking at the sky, uh, making wishes on stars, counting your, counting your, uh, 
looking at the moon, making, setting your intentions with the moon every night. Like, I just kind of feel like you go out, you're, you're outside somewhere and you're kind of on your own and you're thinking about stuff and, and, you know, do maybe some of you doing some journeying or healing work as well, because that eight of cups can be like a, a card of journey. So maybe you're journaling or you're doing some, um, just kind of looking out just uh, like the horizon they're giving me to see, you know, what else is out there making wishes. Um, a lot of you are spending time outside at night. Okay. On your own. Okay. So I see you, you're, you might be doing that now, or you'll be doing that a lot more in like through your birthday month. Let's see. What else is going on here? What else is going on for Virgo? What is Virgo up to? Okay, got a king of swords here. So you might be thinking of someone who is an air sign. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person's kind of like coldish. Some of you may have or might be like trying to manifest a communication or a message from this person. Now, they don't have to be an air sign. They can just have kind of like this energy of um, they just all talk and not much going on in the way of romance. Okay, as far as a love reading goes, I feel like this person with this King of Swords energy, they come across to me as being pretty curt. I don't know, maybe their name is Kurt. Pretty curt or to the point, you know, um, very airy, very light on their feet. Okay, so some of you are hoping for I'm going to say like a reconciliation with someone or for this person to open up more. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be an air sign. It's just whoever your person is, you have someone in your mind who it, they just come across to me as not, I, I feel like surface or just kind of like a matter of fact type of a person. Okay. They're very matter of fact, but you're, it's like, when will they open up? That's what I feel like is going on. So if it kind of feels like you are in a waiting position, like you're on your own and you're journeying, but you're waiting for someone to come in. And for those of you, you know, whether you know if you've got somebody you're already talking to, or you know who your twin flame is, like this person, I see them coming in and opening up and being more like having a wake up call. This person's coming in with like a wake, like, uh, like they know what they need to do. They come to terms with knowing what they need to do or that they need to open up more to you or spill the beans and kind of like, hmm, give me a second. They're giving me, um, this, okay. So I feel like this person has, I don't know if it's a fear or judgment that, but they're kind of like, are you going to judge them? They say to themselves, is Virgo going to judge me? if I open up and tell them everything. Okay. So they're a little bit hesitant about moving forward. I feel like that's why they're watching you to try to f like suss you out a little bit. But I also feel like for you, like there will be some conversation. This person is going to open up and, um, some message that you'll be waiting to hear, or you have been waiting to have some kind of conversation with your twin flame, they are going to open up here. Some of you may not e have even met your twin flame, and this person is definitely showing up during your birthday month, okay? But for you, I feel you're becoming more transparent in your life. Like, I feel like you're more in a position here where, you know what, I'm just going to be myself. You've been journeying or journaling. You've been doing the work. You've been sorting things out in your life. And I feel like for you, you're just like, I'm here. I'm open. I have nothing to lose now in my life. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's kind of your energy. And I feel like this person is sensing that and they're going to start, you know, being the same way and, and start really seeing you for who you are. Like, I feel like I said that in the twin flame reading that I just did, like all of your strengths and your weaknesses, like seeing the full picture, everything that you represent to them. 
Um, for some of you, September 20th, September 8th will be significant. Also the 28th, they just told me. Okay, so yeah, look at you. Like Virgo, you look amazing. This is your card. You, I don't, you're doing something with yourself and you look extremely amazing, extremely attractive. You look like the total package, um, glamorous or up to the nines. Maybe you're dressing better. You are working hard, money in the bank. I mean, this person views you like this as well. And I feel like this person has been waiting for someone like you. I've been waiting for a girl like you. Waiting for someone like you. Does anybody listen? Put in the comments if you know the lyrics to that song. We're going to play a little music. Uh, lyric. Name that band. <laughs> it's such an old song. But I feel like this person sees that about you. That you are like total package. Total package. You've got curves. You're building your muscle. Um, so your physical aesthetic is looking amazing. They see this about you. And they know it. And then I feel like, I don't know, you might be showing it. You might be like getting yourself out there, putting yourself out there and looking amazing. But it's not just about the aesthetic as well, because even if it is, and that's something that you're doing with yourself, you're also feeling better about yourself. Your mood and your positivity it will be lifting much higher because you're taking care, better care of yourself. Like a typical Virgo, always improving. Okay, and this person is seeing the improvements because they're watching you. Absolutely, this person is watching you. Okay, let me see. Oh, wow, the wheel of the year. Things are definitely going to be shifting in your favor during your birthday month. Virgo, 100%. You're going to be getting lucky. This person feels like they're getting lucky or that they, if you know them, that they are lucky to have you in their life or that they're lucky to know you but there's movement here this is the wheel okay show me more what else is going on so a lot of things are shifting and changing for you okay so here you're showing up as a queen of wands okay some of you might be showing up as a king of swords as well where you're definitely getting clarity but you're also showing up as someone who is physically attractive, bold, brave, courageous, okay? Like you have the Queen of Wands, whether it's male or female energy, the Queen of Wands has the power to shift things um, she's confident. There's a lot of confidence. And I feel like this person sees that confidence within you as well. And very, like, the Queen of Wands is very popular. I mean, it's just like the total package. So you're, you know, whatever you're doing with yourself, you are, um, it's, it's vibrating outward. Do you know what I mean? Like, what, however you're taking care of yourself, your self-care and your self-love, vibrating outwardly outward okay i mean this is like jackpot this is like you're gonna have you might even hit some kind of jackpot as well if you're doing any kind of gambling or going to vegas or anything like that um this is like a very small fortune but you know jackpot sounds like a big fortune it is somewhat of a, a, a some money coming in for you, okay? So I like it. I like it a lot. But I love your confidence here. I mean, you're exuding. You're vibrating this positive energy. And look at you. You're just kind of like, mm-hmm, I know I'm the shit. And this person sees that. But it's not like vanity, although the Queen of Wands can be a little mean. It's just confidence. They're very attracted to you. This person is very, very, could be a fire sign that you um, have a twin flame connection with. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, could be air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. For some of you, it can be another Virgo. It could be Scorpio. It could be uh, Taurus. It could be an Aquarius for some of you. All right, let's see what else is going on. Oh yeah, there's definitely, you're getting some kind of gift for your birthday or there, you're getting some kind of communication or somebody telling you, offering to take you out somewhere um, that they're going to pay for something and be like, no, I got this. 
okay so there's communication definitely coming in in this time period but you for yourself you're also thinking about money putting your plans into place thinking about how you're going to build maybe your business um, how you can secure investors for something um, could be money getting a loan uh, receiving a loan for you know anything any and any huge kind of asset or an investment or something like that you could be receiving um, a message about that as well for some of you so you're yep definitely a message page of wands and page of pentacles here okay um hmm, some of you are going to meet somebody's children somebody has two children okay could be a male like a, a dad with two kids could be um, um, a mother with two children. Um, there's going to be some involvement with children, definitely. There could be a trip. You might be going somewhere with someone. Maybe there's nieces and nephews. There could be... Let me see what's going on with these two, because I'm just picking up a real strong energy. You might be a single parent, um, or they might be a single parent. They don't have to be. Let me just take a look and see what's going on with these. Because... Okay, yeah, okay. You could be connecting with a friend that has kids as well. You could, and some of you might be meeting someone new who has children or connecting with a friend who has kids as well. I don't know if that's connected, it's this person or whatever's going on. But also, I want to tell you, if it's not the children thing, there's also um, a lot of communication going back and forth with this person. Um, And, me, and uh, like making a connection, okay? I feel like this person asks you out or asks to connect with you. Did you oh, did you hear that? That's a sign. Um, and you guys are like figuring out where to go. And this person is like, oh, I'm going to pay for it or I'm going to take care of everything. That's just a really small message. Oh, my gosh. Look, the Ace of Cups. So you've got a love situation happening here. Okay. Let me take a look. I want to see more what your what else your energy is. Let's just focus more on you because it is your birthday month. Virgo, it is your birthday month, August through September. What else is going on here with Virgo? Okay, you got some competition. Yep. Wow. Okay. Some challenges and some obstacles, but you're very positive. Your energy is very positive. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. You've also got the lovers. Okay. Oh, and the emperor. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. so i feel like for you you're really I, I mean virgo you look like you're in boss up mode here in this during your birthday month in virgo season you're in boss up mode like you are you know even even you being this way but i also see you know what you want you know the kind of person you're looking for and that emperor comes through male or female energy is someone who's just honest forthcoming direct they are um, someone who is a good caretaker there's also somebody here that has children as well um, or this someone that can be um, a good provider um, or someone that would want to have children, that kind of thing, like a family person. But I see there's a lot of obstacles and challenges with this because you're kind of like, oh, I got to wait. You have to wait if that's something that you want. <laughs> I feel like Spirit's like, yeah, keep telling them, yeah. Um, you know, if, if this is something, that, there's obstacles and challenges to this for you at this time, not even to have children, but even to meet someone. And uh, maybe they have young children. And some of you might be like, nah, I'm not doing that. Uh, you could be a lot older. Um, you could meet someone that has grandchildren as well. Okay, um, a lover, a partner. Okay, um, but it could be your twin flame. It just really depends. But let me get back to you here. Okay. So yeah, you've got some obstacles and challenges coming up with travel, I feel. Okay, let me see, because there's like plans being made in Virgo season, but there's also this thing where it's like, there's some bickering 
about this. Okay. Hmm. And the star. Um, I feel like it's going to resolve. This might just be like I was saying, there's there's a lot of sorting out that's that is needing to be done here with you and somebody else. Okay. A lot of sorting out some obstacles, problems or challenges. Okay, but that star energy makes me feel like things will resolve. Okay, there will be a renewal. Keep the faith. Don't let any kind of obstacles or challenges that you face during this time period deter you from being able to like stay on the path. That's what I feel like. Keep. Oh, wait, they're just giving me a phrase. How does it go? Um. Well, it's keep the faith, really, D despite the challenges here. Don't give up hope. Keep your eye, uh, uh, keep your eye on the prize, whatever those prizes are for you. Don't quit. It, they're just because there's obstacles and challenges. It doesn't mean you know you can wait until things get a little bit easier before you make a move, whatever direction you're trying to go. But I feel like whatever okay so whatever the issues are like if you're trying to get someone or be with someone or have your twin flame make that love offer um no matter what the challenges are i feel like this person 100 percent is going to be coming in and proposing something or making like offering you their heart during virgo season okay and i feel like you might get discouraged sometimes and just feel like maybe it's not worth it Maybe you should just try to go with somebody else or wait for somebody else to come in that's, you know, more like a prepackaged deal that's already like ready to go, you know, um, that kind of thing. Uh, I know it kind of sounds shallow, but I just feel like you've been waiting either for your twin flame or for someone to come in and just, you know, knock on your door and just be like, hey, you know, and, and for things to move easily and twin flame relationships can be difficult, definitely. And for some of you, you've got some type of thing that you want out of your life and you might be feeling like, oh, it's never going to happen. Uh, we're never going to connect, not in the way I'm hoping. And that's you just might even be creating those obstacles and challenges yourself. So try to think positively. Why wouldn't it happen for you? why can't things why can't these wonderful blessings okay the renewal these good things happen for you why not you know so try to keep your mind and your eyes on the prize with what it is that you want in your life don't give up whatever it is whether it's in your career your love life to do with your health your money whatever it is or the things that you want to get for yourself get it get yourself more established start a business whatever don't give up hope on those things, okay? Because they're coming for you, of course. Okay, five of swords. All right, some of you, you got to cut out a king of cups, perhaps, or lay down some law or some truth, or you may have a connection with a king of cups where this person is um, kind of sharp-tongued, or they just, they, they, they well the five of swords can be a card of someone who is can be abusive or seem very abusive maybe w emotionally withdrawn okay so the king of cups can come in as scorpio uh pisces or cancer okay so let's see look, take a little bit more of a look at this what's going on with this king of cups oh okay now this might be somebody that you um okay hold on a second this might be someone oh they just told me now if you know who this king of cups is this could be your your king of swords here this could be your twin flame for some of you okay um there was some kind of like ending with that five of swords that five is like mismanagement of the emotions and a relationship this king of cups is having a lot of regret and remorse feels a sense of loss for um whatever this five of swords energy was here okay something maybe they were in an abusive relationship 
or um, now this could be a friend or a lover this person's coming in here with an apology for you okay it could be a friend it could be a sibling it could be a lover there's definitely an apology okay they were dating and trying to secure something with someone and it didn't go too well and I feel like I've talked about this in a few of your readings recently um, but I also feel like <clears throat> Either it was a relationship that didn't go well or there was something going on in their life where um, things fell apart and they're trying to get back on track, okay? Either that's with you or in their career or in their life in general, whatever it is. But I feel like this person, um, because the Three of Cups is here, I do feel like they were maybe partying a little too much or they were just kind of spreading themselves thin. I feel like things aren't really working out for them. Are they returning? Mm, there might just be an apology or some communication with this person. Are they returning? They could be. This could be could be your twin flame who's been keeping their eye on you and wants to talk to you. Okay. Um, they they seem to be very stable at this time, um, and they have they might have sisters that they're connecting with. They may have some female friends that are also very supportive of them and telling them to reach out to you and apologize. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a water sign, but this person is showing up in like very watery energy. All right, let me get a couple of moon pie cards to see what's going on. Okay, test of faith and boundaries. All right, you're going to need that during Virgo season because your faith is going to be tested. And I told you that. Don't give up. Keep the faith. You also have the past is returning. So yeah, you've got somebody who's showing up here now. Could just be a happy birthday to you, Virgo. Somebody could just be wishing you a happy birthday, uh, making an apology to you as well for something. But you definitely have a past, could be a past twin flame. Um, or it could just be somebody who's showing up here, yeah, to apologize. A <laughs> message from an admirer. Oh my goodness. So you have three pages. So yeah, the message from an admirer. Yeah, you're definitely getting... As I said, a text, a call, an email, um, an awaited message, somebody you've been waiting to hear from or hear back from if you've reached out and they haven't responded. Oh, they're, they're going to be responding. Okay. And this might test your boundaries because maybe you sent a message and it's the, maybe you're the last one that sent like um, just a very basic message and they never returned or responded and now they are and and you yeah because maybe they were non-committal you might now be non-committal with this person because maybe they took a long time to say hello to you or reach out or respond okay so now you're like oh you trying to test me is this this is this what's going on here <laughs> I don't know who that is. Look at it differently, though. It says sometimes you have to let go of old notions, even though you may feel stuck. It's just an illusion. Try seeing the situation from a, a positive perspective. There's a silver lining. A slight change in view can and will make some type of predicament easier. I feel like you've got somebody coming in here with a sweet text message that's going to tell you they've hit rock bottom. They made a mistake. Remember, we had the karma somebody's getting their karma is coming in you may or may not accept this person back you may accept an apology you may not accept them back um you might be over it and moving on with someone else as well okay uh somebody new if it's your twin flame coming back or if this is this person who's apologizing maybe it was just somebody you knew from a long time ago and you're like no thanks i'm moving on with my twin flame Oh my goodness, I'm getting a lot of messages today. And y'all know why. Because it is my birthday. It's my birthday. All right, let me see. I'm just having fun. I don't really care about this birthday. It'll be big when I hit the big 6-0. <laughs> All right. They want to give you Romance Angel message. Okay, you deserve love, Virgo. You are lovable. Virgo, you're looking so good. And you are so happy with yourself. And you feel positive. Or if you don't, you will be during your birthday month. Just get, like, this is all about you. Remember when you guys, I posted that glyph, the Virgo glyph. It was an M. Let me make it for you. 
it was M and that's your glyph, right? Wait, how did it go? It's not like I can't remember. Is that it? That's not it. Hold on. <laughs> You're getting a little lesson. I'm giving you all a little lesson here. The Virgo glyph lesson. And I can't turn it around. So wait, let me see. It was... That's it. You see how it says me? Okay. <laughs> I can't do anything backwards. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I can't do... Can, all right. I'd like to see you all do your alphabet upside down. It is... Okay. It's all about me. <laughs> Virgo. It's Virgo season. It's all about me. I mean, not me, but you. You know what I mean. Okay, so pay attention to your you this year, this Virgo season, okay? Because you deserve love. You are lovable. This person, these people can see this about you. You know, stay in that energy. Just like self-love, self-love. Give yourself a big hug. Treat yourself well. You've got a wedding, so you're going to be marrying. This situation involves marriage, so your twin flame is definitely coming back in or is going to be proposing to you. If they're if they, you've been in separation or you've just been doing you or you've just been keeping your distance, yeah, this person, does that mean that it's going to happen during Virgo season? It could for some of you. For others, it might not. It could be later, but the situation does involve marriage, okay? And one more Yes, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, you guys, um, I sometimes have, you know, moments where I'm just kind of like, I get a little melancholy or I just think about things. And sometimes if I overthink things and I go like down to the rabbit hole. But as soon as I put music on, I'm just lifted out of that. That just completely lifts me. So if you have like some favorite songs, um, that you listen to or some songs that make you feel good or that just pump you up in some kind of way S try to spend as much time as you can if it's not music listening to uplifting things okay um, if tarot readings are bringing you down then you know find tarot readings that talk about you and your glow up rather than another person okay if you're in that position okay you've got to expect powerful change new moon eclipse all right that is going to be this saturday new moon eclipse um august 27th did i say august 27th something powerful is happening august 27th and you also have luck is on your side again the wheel of fortune this is new moon in sagittarius I don't know if the new moon is going to be in Sagittarius. Wait, I don't think it's a new. All right, so the new moon on the 27th, just so you know, something's going on on the 27th, either with a Sagittarius um, or something happened during the last new moon eclipse. Um, a powerful shift happened. You may have felt it. You may not feel it. Um, it could have happened with someone that you've connected with, but there's definitely a shift and a change. All right, let me take a look and see. Oh, look at that. I just pulled that off the top of the deck and it doesn't even go with this deck. You are good enough, Virgo. That's the Virgo card. Remember that. You're worth whatever it is that, you're, that you wish to manifest or have in your life. Remember, it's all about me. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at whoever this person is, what their Chinese sign might be. Okay, okay. We have Year of the Ox, a Year of the Snake, Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Dragon. Okay, this could be you or that person, Year of the Rat, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Goat, and a Year of the Tiger. Okay, so you know who your person is. Or it's you, or it's no, no, none of you, so don't sweat it if it's not. Um, all right, let's get some charms and just see. I just want to pull one charm today. I'm still kind of recovering, so I pushed myself a little too quickly after I was feeling better, and I um, needed an, another day off. Okay, so... 
We have a dress here or a gown. Okay, so some of you might be trying on new clothes or something to do with a dress or you might be looking at wedding gowns or um, going to a wedding. Okay, you might be thinking about something to do with a wedding coming up. Um, maybe picking out some like a nice suit or a tuxedo for somebody's wedding or a dress or a gown or maybe you're, you might be asked to be a maid of honor in somebody's wedding coming up during Virgo season or attending one and we also have a sea turtle here or I think it's a sea turtle or it's just a turtle okay so turtles might be significant to you in some way maybe it's uh, ninja turtles maybe something with the ninja turtles um, okay um, somebody likes turtle is it no they just gave me dove chocolate dove chocolate okay somebody eats dove chocolate or something to do with doves or dove maybe soap dove soap I don't know why I'm getting this <laughs> here but maybe you have a thing for turtles or you really love turtles or you're doing something by the sea there's something coming up by the sea or somebody lives by aquatic animals could just even be like maybe an aquarium you go to an aquarium or something along those lines well that was an interesting message and it was a little bit choppy my apologies for that i feel like there was a lot of different energies playing through so it might be several messages several different messages for you guys to just maybe listen to it again and try to pick up what the energy is and for some of you it's just all this one person and a lot of like a lot of complicated stuff happening but shifts and changes and just know that somebody is definitely waiting they're watching and waiting for the right time to come in and have the talk all right so I feel like this whole message is can we talk like we're gonna have the talk the real talk is happening during Virgo season all right you guys I'm gonna leave that there for you I hope you enjoy that um, I'll try to be back on tomorrow if I'm not, then I'll be back on the following day. But happy birthday to you guys. And do remember, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care.